The third type of joint is synovial joints, which represent most of the joints between the bones of our skeleton. There is freedom of movement in these joints. They are characterized by presence of capsule outside. And this capsule is thickened in some areas to form ligaments. And if we look inside between two articulating bones in these synovial joints, we can see that the end of bones are covered with cartilage, high line cartilage. There is a gap between the articulating bones. The capsule is lined with a membrane called synovial membrane, which is secrete fluids, lubricates the space between the adjacent bones. According to the shape of the articulating bones, the synovial joints are classified into the following. The first type, plane joints, which is present between the short bones within the foot and hand. For example, mid-tarsal joints between the bones of the tarsal region of the foot. And also between the carpal bones in the proximal part of our hand. The second type is hinge joint. Hinge joint represented by the knee and elbow joint. The third type is ellipsoid, which is present between the distal parts of the bones of the forearm and the proximal row of the carpal bones, represented by our wrist joint, wrist joint. The force is present here between the carpal bones and the base of the ferris metatarsal bone. It is called saddle joint and it gives freedom of movement for the thumb. The fifth between the head of the metatarsal bones and the bases of the proximal phalanges within our hand. It is called condyloid joint condyloid. The sixth is present between the upper part of the femur and the acetabulum of the hip bone. It is called ball and socket and it is the highly mobile joint within our body. Hip joint and also the other example is present between the upper end of the humerus and the glenoid fossa of the scapula, pole and socket.